السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. My question is, Sheikh, I have an Ashari friend, and I told him that Allah has a hand, and then he said that I'm a Wahhabi and I'm a Najdi for believing that Allah has a hand, and he and he tell and he asks and he and he to, and he tells me that um how can Allah have a hand or it's not um this means that Allah has a body for us stuff, stuff, stuff like that. How should I respond to him, Sheikh? First, first of all, if someone accuses you of being a Wahhabi or a Najdi, that should be a medal. You should be proud of it. It's like someone, when you tell them, don't torture animals, and he says, what, you're a human? Jeez. Is this an insult? Of course not. Second of all, this ignorant imbecile friend of yours did not, did not even read the Quran. It was Allah who described himself to have a hand, to have two hands, and his two hands created Adam. So is he falsifying the Quran or saying that, no, Allah doesn't know what he's talking about? You don't even need to talk with ignorant imbeciles like this. Leave them. Let them worship whoever they want to worship. We worship Allah. We follow the footsteps of the Prophet ﷺ, of the companions, of the tabi'een, of tabi'at tabi'een, the favorite three generations that the Prophet told us they are the best of the best. We follow them. Now you tell me who these people are following. If they can manage to quote one from the Quran or the Hadith or the Prophet ﷺ, or from the companions or the tabi'een, so be it, but they don't. Let them be in their confusion and their chaos and move on with life. It's not worth it to debate and talk with such people. May Allah guide us all to Islam.